Hey there, Kettle Corn Cousins. This is Mitch Weller Fabricator and owner of KettleCornSupplies.com. I wanted to show you where I put this on the truck, my newest Supreme model. This is the Supreme 36. It's 36 inches across here on this bowl, and it's 19 and a half inches deep. So this makes this thing, i got to do the math on it, and I'll put it on my website, but I think it's close to 250, 275 quarts fluid quarts. This is going to be, probably end up being my only Supreme. I found that the 28 inch, while I sold lots of them, um, it's only 110 quarts. And so as a result, it's really not that much more than the 80 quart as far as productions. Now you'll see a lot of uh, poppers out there, they call themselves 160s. They're not 160 quarts, not even close. In fact, I did the math on them, they're only 105. And so after popping in all, all different models, I think I may end up just making this my mainstay, the Supreme. And when you consider the money that you go from the, the Deluxe Pro or even the, the original 80 quart from $2,000 and, and jump up to $3,539 with a 28 and a half inch bowl, you're not getting that much more bang for your buck. But this one right here, you can produce about Oh, $300, $350 an hour of popcorn. Probably a little bit more, depending on which production uh, ability is. In other words, how hard you want to work to do it. But if you do one batch after another, you should be able to put about $350 an hour. And then the big show, that's very, very important. So, I want to show you some of the features on here that I have incorporated on this model. Now, this is the biggest one I'm going to make. I had a 44 inch bowl. It was so big, I could not even fit it in the shop. I barely could get it out the doors. I'd open both doors, move machines around just to get it out. But this one right here is about as big as you can possibly get it. It's easier to put on a truck, uh, your truck or a trailer. Um, it's just a lot more sensible size as far as about as big as you should get. So, but there's a couple features I want here uh, to, sh to show you on here before I ship it out. So first off, you'll notice that I have two permanently man mounted handles on this machine now. So you can work from either side, or if you have to, you have two people working the machine. When you're doing a show with producing $450 an hour, you're going to have two people. You just you can't do it all yourself. It's a long, hard day. So you're talking about a thousand dollar day um, to two or three thousand dollar days or more. So anyway, first off, I have a new spring system that I want to show you. But look how easy this is. This is a 200 pound bowl with the top, actually probably a little bit more. But I can lift it very easily, just like that, and it pulls down easily as well. So you can come down almost harder to pull down than it would to push up. It's like really easy. So I'm going to grab the camera and show you a little bit. Oh, I did want to show you, where'd my uh, paddle stick go? Did I have my paddle stick around here somewhere? Oh well. Oh, here it is. Okay, everybody has a stick, right? So what I did is I used this stick and I made a little mount in here. So if ever you have to get inside here to adjust something, you got a little safety catch here so that if this thing comes down on you, it won't come down on you. And the reason is is because you got a really heavy bowl there. So let me show you a little bit of what we got going. Now, this one comes with three burners and three burner system works right back here. So this one is the main burner. The gas comes in here. This is the one that will always run. Whoops, get that camera up there so you can see it. So you'll flip this up. Then after you've lit, lit, lit the first burner, you can turn on the second and the third. And then once it's popping, you turn it down. And then when you're done, you reach down here and turn it off. Now it has the same uh, electronic sh lighter as I always have had. There it is right there. You can see it working. And you also notice that I have a new lever system. You'll see levers on both sides. Now if you saw my Supreme 28, I had a spring system over here using a traditional spring. I, I can't do that anymore with that thing because this, this bowl is just so big and heavy that you just can't do it. Uh, I might change the linkage system around a little bit, but this is pretty much the design. Any changes are going to be more for my production end, not so much functional end on there. But I use the power and the physics of pulleys, 
and you can see there now you'll notice that this one the vents are covered just like on my other models and this is the vented side so you can if you want to take these bolts unbolt them move this plate over there to that side and work that side if you want now it's got since it has handles on both sides you can work both sides and maybe even have two people working both uh, one side each but here's my spring system uh, I've got it covered up. I'm the only one that's going to probably even take the time to do this. I, I just think it's important that if you're going to have a spring in a unit that's producing 500 degrees of heat, that you don't want to change, the, you want to protect the spring, in other words. You don't want to just out there exposed to the heat. So I have ventilation from below and around it, plus I have a cover there to keep any extra heat off of it that we need to have. And there you go, there's the, no, notice I use black pipe. I'm not using that cheap copper tubing. Um, the inspectors love that. They see a really well-made machine. I take the time, I actually have to cut the threads by hand. One of these days I'm gonna actually make a, or buy a real fancy uh, thread cutter, but those things are like $1,000 a pop or more. And uh, so I just cut it on my lathe. It gives you a little bit of look. There's that huge monster bowl and you'll notice the side handles here. This just helps you pull it down, lift it up. And I really like how this thing came out. It just looks beautiful. All right. Get a little, you can see even in my, even in my reduced size from the big monster one I had, you can still see that uh, it's a pretty good big, big machine. This isn't something you're going to put in a uh, trailer that you're going to pop in. It's just too big for that. It's, it's, it's made for being outside or in a permanent location. And I have handles on the back so you can move things around. But, uh, oh, I wanted to point this out. You'll notice here, instead of welding this, I've got this screwed in here. And that's because these back panels, these back corner panels, they are removable. So, and why would I make them removable? If you have to come in here and adjust this spring or fix a cable or something like that it's easier access to it so you don't have to crawl inside here worry about this bowl coming down on you even though I do have a safety lever here you can see the safety lever mechanism all it is is just a place for put the stick and if it comes down to you this is just gets shoved right up in there so you're not going to have this thing hurt you uh, I actually on the big monster 44 inch one I had <laughs> I didn't have the bowl on it but it came down on top of me and all of a sudden I had this big ring around me. I'm going, okay, don't want that to happen. So you can see what I've got going here. So let me uh, spin this around, give you a little look-see if I can do that in this big monster shop here. All right, so I'm taking the stick, putting it to the side temporarily. spun around here so you can see it. Now this thing is huge. In this shop, but see I can do it. I couldn't do that with the other one. The other one was just too big and the truckers, they, they actually refused shipping three times or, or two times and the third time I wouldn't leave, leave without taking it. But there it is. I'm trying to get a good look at it. Show you a little bit more of what we have. I uh, decided to bolt these hinges on rather than to weld them on that way if there's ever a break you can fix it pretty easy which there shouldn't be because those are steel stainless steel and you can see the assist handle there it's just a nice little feature that I decided to add to this big monster but this if you want high production this is your machine and as with all my machines I try to make them look artistically and visually appealing when you have a very appealing booth, you have a nice tent, and everything in your booth looks good, your equipment looks good, people just make the assumption that your corn, your kettle corn, is going to taste better. Whether it does or not, it's hard to say if you had a taste test between the guy with the greasy looking ugly place and yours, who knows if it tastes better. But the perception is that it's cleaner, it's more sanitary, 
and that's that's half of the game is all about merchandising something I learned years ago in the bicycle retail industry but you can see the beautiful lines I put a nice textured top on here easy to clean uh, I don't have any diamond plate on the front here specifically because that gets greasy and that's one of the first places that gets gunked up and that diamond plate tread plate they call it just you can't keep it clean it's just the, all the little nooks and crannies the grease gets in there and you're scrubbing it and it just looks terrible with this you can keep it clean just a good clean wipe down a little bit more there the side look anyway give me a call at kettle corn supplies anytime for any more information let me put this camera down excuse the moving there anyway Thanks for coming by this early rainy day here in Port Angeles, Washington. Give me a call, kettlecornsupplies.com, or my phone number is 360-477-0257. I do better with uh, phone calls than I do emails. It's like I get in front of the email or the computer and two hours disappears answering letters on one finger type or something like that. Anyway, I better get going so this guy can get his uh, kettle, and I'll talk to you later. See you later, Kettle Corn Cousins, and be mighty, my friends.